Hey guys, how are you doing this morning? It's Marla. Hopefully everybody is doing well. This is just going to be a quick introduction to this video. I wasn't even planning on doing a video like this, but it just kind of fell into my lap. What do I mean by that? This is going to be a do-it-yourself project that was extremely easy. It took me probably about hmm, 10 minutes to complete, but it has brought me such joy. It is amazing to me how you can find things just on an everyday walk that are really like little treasures. So I am not somebody that goes to yard sales or things like that. I don't go to vintage shops. I don't go looking for decor for my house in places like that. Lately, I just haven't been doing shopping at all for anything in my home. I don't really think I feel like I need anything, but I was on a walk one day with my middle dog, my Labradoodle Sophie. And in my neighborhood, you know, I always kind of look around. People will put things out in front of their homes that they don't want anymore. And they'll first see if anybody wants to pick them up. And then if nobody wants to pick them up, they'll either throw them in the trash or they'll have the garbage people come by and pick them up. But some of the things they put out are little treasures. And I was taking my dog for a walk and I happened to look in front of someone's home and they had this rickety old but very cute little vintage bird cage out on the sidewalk to be picked up by whoever wanted it. I don't usually go picking stuff up like this, but this bird cage just kind of, I don't know, it just really spoke to me. I said to myself, you know, I would love to take that birdcage home. It was totally clean inside. There weren't feathers or anything like that. I think they actually had used it as decoration on their patio. I want to take that birdcage inside and clean it up, paint it, and maybe decorate it and put it in my house. There was just something about it that spoke to me. I don't know. It just looked like this vintage little old-fashioned birdcage. Just so cute. So I'm going to show you it. I'm going to show you what I did to it, and then I'm going to show you the final product of what it looks like sitting in the little doorway of my entryway to my home and I love it. I just think it is the cutest little thing. And the reason I got this idea was I remember looking through a magazine seeing a lot of people now using bird cages as decorations either in their home or outside. They don't have a bird. They just decorate them in such a way they look so adorable. So let me take you to my garage. When I picked this bird cage up I was probably about a mile away from my house walking with my dog and I literally picked that thing up and carried it all the way home while I was holding her leash and that birdcage was heavy. You know I really want something when I walk with it for a mile to bring it home to my house, but I did. I carried that birdcage all the way home. It was awkward. It was very difficult, but I wanted it. So let me take you to my garage. Let me show you what I did and then I'll show you the final product. This is what the birdcage looked like when I first got it. This is not painted yet. What I did was I got some pliers and I took off the little wire hanger that was attached to the top of the birdcage for hanging it because I knew I didn't want to hang it. I was going to put this on one of my tables in my entryway. So I got the pliers. I took that off. You can see the paint job on this is really bad. It looks all worn off, but I just love the design of this birdcage. I just think it is so vintage looking. Then the next thing I did was I went to Home Depot and tried to decide what color paint I wanted to spray paint this. This is metal obviously so I got some spray paint that works on metal that's glossy. I didn't want regular gold. It was between the rose gold shade and a champagne gold shade. I really did like the rose gold and I may someday go back and repaint it. The rose gold shade Shade, but I picked up the champagne spray paint and then all I did was I got some newspapers, I put it out in my lawn and I just spray painted the entire cage and set it out to dry. Here is a before and after of the cage before I painted it and then after I painted it. This was probably one of the easiest do-it-yourself projects. Anybody could do this. It took me about 10 minutes to complete it and then just let it dry for about an hour or so. And then I went on to Amazon and looked up some little lights that were plug-in and I thought, oh, it'd be cool to put some lights inside this birdcage so that at night when I'm sitting in my living 
living room and I don't want to have a lot of lights on, I could just, you know, have my birdcage lit up. And that's what I did. I went on to Amazon. I picked up some tiny little sparkly, soft, warm, white lights. And this is the, my final product. I love this. Just goes to show you that when you're on your walks or when you're out and about in your daily life, you just keep your eyes open, especially early in the morning. That's when a lot of people seem to put out things they're trying to get rid of. And some people's trash or are other people's treasures, as they say. And this was a treasure for me. I really do think it's so cool to put bird cages in your house for decoration. I hope you enjoyed seeing my do-it-yourself super easy project. Take care. Bye-bye from Marla.